everybody, what's going on? Welcome to another Pi Game tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be working on is making our buttons responsive. So we want the button to feel like a button uh, when we hover over it. So um, right now, we've got our buttons on our text, but when we hover it, it does nothing. So now we want to discuss how might we make these buttons um, react to the mouse going over them. Well, what I what I propose is that we take you know the the color and just make it lighter. So, in the sense of green, we can make green. We can have a darker green and a lighter green. The darker green is inactive, lighter green active. So, close out of this. Close out of this. Um, and the first thing that we'll do it to is play. So let's scroll back up to the top here and look at our colors. So we've got white, black, red, yellow, green, and clock. Uh, and green, to make a light green, we can just call this light underscore green. And we'll say light green equals, um, since it's red, green, blue, 0, 255, 0. So that's the brightest green uh, possible. So then we'll scroll back down. Where the heck are we? Here we are. And now we want to um, change the color of our button depending on whether our mouse is over the button or not. So how might we do that? Well, we do. We know that there is, if you recall from the event loop uh, for event in pygame.event.get, we can print event. So we'll save and run that. You don't have to type that if you don't want, but I just want to show you guys. For Oh no, this is uh, tabbed over it improperly but that's okay we'll just tab this for now deal with it hopefully that'll work now okay so when we have the game up we can put this down here and we can see that it's giving us the location of our mouse this is position and that is the location actually my face might be over that that is the location of the mouse right so you can see these are all locations this pulse so let me close out of this. So we know we can find the location of the mouse. So then we can just throw in an if statement that is like, well, if our mouse is within the borders of our, our uh, button, then let's, let's go ahead and light up the button. So we'll come back down here right before we draw the rectangle. So basically, we're drawing the rectangle here. And we can say, first of all, um, we can say the position of the cursor. So we'll say curve for cursor equals pygame.mouse.get underscore uh, position and that will be the position of our mouse and it will be the xy so for example we could print uh, the cursor and let me make sure we're not printing event let's stop that that's too much spam for my tastes and let's go ahead and save and run that and you should see here whoops that wherever the mouse is, it's just constantly updating the location of the mouse. Even if we hold it steady, it is going to continue updating. So anyway, we'll close out of this, and we don't need to be printing the cursor anymore. But it was a tuple. So then we can ask the question, uh, if the mouse is within our like cursor area. So. Um, eventually, we're going to pack all this stuff into a function. Um, but I just want to take it one step at a time here. So we've got, uh, first of all, what are we asking? So we're asking if uh, if this number plus this number, so if x is between this number and this number plus this number, then cool. And then we need to ask if um, y is between this number and this number plus this number, if all those are the, tr uh, are the case, and we know that the mouse is within um, the, the boundaries of our button. So for example, it would be if 150 plus 100 is greater than, you could do greater than or equal to, but let's be honest, the person is gonna be like one pixel, so we'll just use greater than for now. Um, cur zero, so the x, um, and while cur0 is simultaneously greater than 150, again, I recognize we're hard coding. We're hard coding a lot of this, and I, we, we're, we're going to end up just turning this into a function. But I just want to use the, these for now uh, to save us some time because we will just convert this in a little bit. 
So we're asking here if the cur zero is the x, if it's within those boundaries and 500 plus 50, so this number and this number, so y plus the height of the box is greater than cur one, where it is simultaneously greater, cur one is simultaneously greater than just straight up the 500, then what would we want to do? Well, we'll do this, and then we'll just throw an else statement here, and then we'll do the same thing. And then this is if the if the mouse is within the boundaries. So we want to use a light green. I can't remember if I use an underscore or what. So yeah, so light underscore green is what we use. So we would do light underscore green if the mouse is within those boundaries. So we can go ahead and save and run this. And we pull it up, and now when we hover our mouse over the button, we see that it gets lighter. So now this looks and feels a little bit more like a button to the user because it is somewhat uh, interactive. So now we have the impression that, hey, this might do something, let's click it, right? Obviously it doesn't do anything yet, but we have an idea that it might. So cool, but now we know that, well, we have a slight issue here, and that is that, well, first of all, there's a lot of hard coding here, that's a lot of code, and really we wanna have like a button function here. So that's obviously something we have to look forward to and do, but that'll have to be in another video. So that's gonna be it for this video. As always, thanks for watching.